Hello and welcome to another Game Nexus meme review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Final Fight on the CPS One Arcade hardware released in 1989. Here's your intro, basically laying the story of the uh, game. It's telling you about how one of our main characters is the mayor, and it's about to show you what happened to make our characters go on this final fight. Only thing I have to say about that intro is, was that image on the television screen supposed to be his daughter, or some kind, or is it supposed to be this bad guy laughing here? Because either it was the very ugly daughter or the bad guy. Well, we have Guy here. This is one of the characters you can play as in Final Fight. Basically, each character has a certain combo that they can do by hitting the attack button, and they also have their jump. If you jump, you do a jump and kick with most characters. And basically, you have all your generic enemies like you do in a lot of beat em up games. A lot of the enemies in this game do have like special attacks and special weapons that they use. This game actually had tons and tons of ports. There was. In 1991, it was released on the Super Famicom and Super Nintendo systems as just regular Final Fight. The only strange part about this release is that you could only play as the mayor, Hagar, or you could play as Cody. So you only had two of the three characters. Then they released, in 1992, Final Fight Guy, which was actually the same game, but they replaced Cody with Guy. I guess maybe at the time they didn't think there would be enough memory on the cartridge in order to have all three characters. In 1993, the Sega CD version Final Fight CD was released. Then in 2001, you get the Game Boy Advance Final Fight 1. And here's Cody. You'll notice he has different moves than Guy did. And of course, in 2005, the Capcom's Classics Collection got released for the PS2 and the uh, Xbox, with Final Fight as a uh, game on there. And in 2006, you got the uh, Capcom Classics Collection remixed on the PlayStation Portable with Final Fight included. Then, for the 2006 release of Final Fight Streetwise for Xbox and PS2, Final Fight was included as a bonus on that disc. Now, as far as computer releases go, in 1991 we saw the release on Commodore 64, Amstrad CPC, the Amiga, the Atari ST, and the ZX Spectrum. Then in 2001 in Japan, I'm sorry, in 1992 in Japan, there was the Sharp X68000 computer release. So this game has definitely done its paces. And I personally hate this guy, how he just keeps whistling for more guys to come. Now this is one of those rare things you would see in games sometimes, is a male character beating up women. There's some games that do that, but some games that don't. What I understand, the Super Nintendo version of this game actually has the female characters in this game very much resembling a male character because Nintendo didn't thought it, think it was right for all these strong men to be beating up a woman. Of course, just like a lot of games at the time, this was released on the uh, Capcom Places to One like I had mentioned earlier. So of course you have great graphics and great sound. And in a lot of these games you'll have quite a few characters on screen at once. And of course phone booths you can 
break. Because just about every game that has foam boots, they're fully breakable. No problem there. And of course, just like in all the different beat em up games, you're gonna have many palette changes. Like you'll see Poison and Roxy here. They're basically the same character with a different amount of health and different color hair. Now, that scream you just heard. I honestly think that sounds like a, a guy screaming in a falsetto voice. It does not sound like a girl at all. I hate this guy, I really do. He just he just kills you so easily. Because he has that choke move that he'll get you from behind. And that's one thing I love in uh, beat em up games, is weapons that you can pick up that really just mix up the combat a lot. And that's one thing I think is really weird on the continuous screen, is the dynamite. And of course, here is uh, Hagar, the uh, mayor of the city. Of course, he was this big street fighter before he became the mayor, and of course, the whole quest of this game is to save his daughter. He's your average power character, where he'll have a lot of moves that are like very, that are slower, but they're more powerful than the other two characters. And let's just take care of these guys. I like it when uh, beat em up games have uh, scenes in train and different locations, not just like streets, but more varied stuff like you see here. And for some unknown reason, this, this train scene reminds me of the train scene in the beginning of Final Fantasy VII. I have no idea why. Maybe it's the, uh, the hangers going back and forth on the top of the screen there. I don't know why games want you to go so badly. It's almost as bad as uh, uh, Ghost Ch Chaser Denshi on the Super Famicom, which was uh, the Denjin Makai console port. At least this game isn't that bad, because that game was just like, go, go. And I always thought it was weird how it just like told you, oh, you gotta go, you, you shouldn't wait any longer. And this guy even beat up my guy here. He reminds me of uh, one of the SNK characters in SVC Chaos named Hugo, but of course not nearly as big. The same kind of big puffy hair and everything, though. But basically, that's Final Fight. It's a great beat em up. I would highly recommend it to any fans. And there's even a lot of sequels released on the consoles. So I definitely recommend this to anyone who likes beat-em-ups, anyone who likes these type of games. It's just some Capcom greatness right here, and I'd recommend it to anybody. This has been another Game Nexus main review, and I shall see you later.